Hi everyone, um, in today's video we continue with our series of videos in understanding the different types of research gaps. In a today's video I will discuss about the knowledge gap. So knowledge gap is often confused with research gap. However, you must understand that knowledge gap is a type of research gap. Just like you have population gap or methodology gap or empirical data gap or practical knowledge gap we have something called knowledge gap which is a type of research gap and let me uh, explain to you using different kinds of examples what constitutes a knowledge gap so what is a knowledge gap a knowledge gap can occur when explanation of an issue has let's say become outdated it is redundant it is no longer relevant for example, if we say that global trade volumes have become low because of global financial crisis. Now, one might argue that global financial crisis occurred last in 2008 and that is not an adequate explanation anymore uh, of low trade volumes. Or if we say that a certain disease was being caused because of poor sewage system in cities, uh, that is no longer relevant as well because uh, uh, these days sewage systems in cities or towns have improved so if the disease is still occurring it cannot be because of um, uh, poor drainage systems or poor sewage systems these are just examples I'm not saying these things are there but I'm just giving you examples of what constitutes a knowledge gap because uh, a, a, an explanation of an issue has become outdated now uh, when else is knowledge gap considered uh, knowledge gap is also considered when uh, empirical data does not explain why the phenomena is occurring. Uh, so for example, let's say you have found that uh, certain cultures or someone has found that certain cultures have uh, different attitudes to risk. So let's say you have found that Asian cultures are more risk averse they stay away from risk they don't like to engage in risky activities or risky um, workplace tasks and you have found that maybe western cultures are more risk prone they they kind of uh, you know they take on more of risky task now although we say asian cultures and we say western cultures and we have found that uh, based on empirical data that asian cultures are risk averse and western cultures are uh, prone to risk uh, empirical data has not explained why this is so in either the Asian culture or in the Western culture or if we talk about Asian culture can we just uh, categorize all Asian uh, countries under one culture or do we get an ex explanation of whether it's the Indians or the Pakistanis or the Chinese or the uh, Nepalese or the Sri Lankans so when the empirical data does not explain a phenomena um, or why it is occurring um, like the example I gave you then of course uh, a knowledge gap is occurring a, it knowledge gap also occurs when uh, certain problems in particular field have not been addressed so let's say that uh, you have found that artificial intelligence is uh, revolutionizing the way um, education is being delivered to students um, but have we investigated the problem that is artificial intelligence going to make the lecturer or the teacher's role completely redundant so this is one example of when we a particular um, uh, phenomena has not been uh, addressed or a particular issue has not been addressed in a field um, another example could be that uh, uh, a researcher has found that uh, a person's socio-economic status is linked to their political knowledge for example people of higher socio-economic status have higher political knowledge now if i if i argue if i have to argue i will have to see whether is this because of the quality of education uh, is it because of their lifestyle uh, has internet played any role in reversing this phenomena or equalizing the the playing field between uh, people uh, regardless of socioeconomic status and because the internet has now come in and people have news at the palm of their hands uh, has this been equalized uh, so or um, let's say even if you know the reasons that higher socioeconomic status are getting uh, better education so their political knowledge is better uh, will this change if the homeschooling is introduced 
for people of uh, high socioeconomic status. So if high socioeconomic status students are, or children are being homeschooled, is their knowledge the same as uh, students of low socioeconomic status who are going to uh, public schools or private schools? So uh, again, these are just random examples. I'm just making them up as I'm making the video. I just want you to be able to understand um, when a knowledge gap occurs. So remember, a knowledge gap occurs when uh, explanation of an issue has become outdated you can argue that it is an outdated explanation this explanation is not valid today uh, when a particular issue has not been investigated in a field or when empirical data cannot explain uh, why a phenomena is being caused so you know that the phenomena is being caused but you cannot explain the why of it so to understand the why of it there is a knowledge gap so these are the uh, different reasons why knowledge gap can occur in research so I hope this video was useful to you. I look forward to your uh, comments and what you think and whether you want to add anything to this video or not. Uh, please like, subscribe, share and uh, I'll see you soon in the next video.